very much, Hillary. Thank you, Democrats. Good afternoon, Democrats. Thank you for electing Democrats up and down the ticket in 2010 and 2012. Thank you for standing with working men and women to defeat Proposition 32. And thank you for coming out in numbers to make sure we restore Democrats to office in 2014. And thank you as well for endorsing me for re-election for Insurance Commissioner. When I ran for Insurance Commissioner in 2010, I promised you an administration of action on behalf of consumers. And what have we been doing with the Insurance Commissioner's Office since then? Well, quite a bit. We've saved consumers and employers $1.4 billion in auto and homeowner insurance rates as a result of our regulation of those excessive rates. We've recovered $182 million from insurers who originally denied claims to people insured in California. We forced life insurers, with John Chung's assistance, our great state controller, we forced life insurers to pay $1 billion in life insurance benefits that they've been sitting on and earning profits on. We've also been hard at work doing everything we can to help the most vulnerable in our population, our seniors. We've gone after insurers and others who would prey on them by taking advantage of them and committing scams on them. For women, we've protected their right to choose as we implement the Affordable Care Act. We issued the first in the nation regulation making sure that transgender persons have access to health care. We've arrested and helped prosecute over 2,000 people for fraud, including bringing to justice those at the center of a $500 million workers' compensation fraud conspiracy. We've stopped the health insurers from denying benefits to autistic children. And regarding climate change, too many are still in denial. As the insurance regulator, I'm insisting that insurance companies recognize and address climate change. And for our disadvantaged neighborhoods, we've increased insurance company investments in underserved communities. And as I promised, to Latino, API, and African American caucuses, and the Women's Caucus, and the Disabled Caucus, we have made sure that women, minority, and disabled veteran-owned businesses get a fair shake from insurance companies by launching the first in the nation insurance diversity initiative to open the doors of economic opportunity to minority, women, and disabled-owned veteran businesses. And we're just getting started. Your work electing a consumer advocate as insurance commissioner has made a difference, and working together California Democratic leaders are implementing the most far-reaching health care reform ever attempted. And we're doing so successfully. We've stopped health insurers from denying coverage to people due to pre-existing conditions. No longer will health insurers be able to treat being a woman as a pre-existing condition. And the Affordable Care Act eliminates junk insurance, and no longer will they be able to kick you off when you get sick. We've signed up 1.6 million uninsured poor Californians for Medi-Cal, making it possible for them to get treatment that they've never gotten before. And over 750,000 Californians have signed up for health insurance through Covered California, our health benefits exchange. What a difference this is making. No longer do people have to worry about getting sick and the lack of health insurance. But we shouldn't stop there. We need to work together to continue to build on this success. We need to work together to continue to persuade Californians to enact single-payer universal health care reform. But until that day, we have to contend with the fact that the health insurers and HMOs are free to charge whatever they wish in health insurance rates. They can raise the rates, and raise them they have, and raise them they will. Californians and California employers continue to get hit with double-digit health insurance rate increases year after year, 10, 20, 30, for some over 100 percent increases in the rates. The calls and letters I get about rising health insurance rates are heartbreaking. 
I carry a letter with me from a couple whose Anthem Blue Cross rates have gone up 845 percent since 1998. In 2013, they paid $1,380 a month. I carry a second letter with me from a woman who received notice that her rates were going up over 55 percent last year. She was just praying she could live long enough to get onto Medicare. Now, these rates are going to continue to rise more quickly than medical costs, wages, and inflation, and the health insurers are continuing to make enormous profits. These health insurance rate increases are going to continue even with the successful implementation of the Affordable Care Act. Now, it surprises many Californians to learn their health insurance does not currently, their health ins commissioner does not have the authority to reject excessive health insurance rate hikes. We have to change the law to allow those rates to be rejected, to require the health insurers to justify their rates. Now, with your help, we qualified a ballot measure that will be on the November 2014 ballot. The ballot measure simply requires health insurers to justify their proposed rates in the individual and small employer markets. They'd have to get approval before they can foist those rates on Californians. And the ballot measure has a provision that authorizes me to order rebates for two years prior for excessive health insurance rate hikes. But the health insurers are already beginning their misleading campaign against the ballot measure. They've created a campaign committee deceptively called Californians Against Higher Health Care Costs. Can you believe it? Yes, you heard right. These are the same health insurance companies making enormous profits at our expense. And they put $14 million into that campaign. That's our money. They're going to spend tens of millions of dollars attacking us. In fact, they are going to do anything to try to defeat us, including hiring Democratic consultants to work this convention hall. Now, if you're sick and tired of rising health insurance rates, this is the opportunity to do something about it. We need each and every one of you to stand with us, endorse the ballot measure, take it to your central committee, your clubs, your communities, your friends, your neighbors. And you can help right now by personally endorsing the ballot measure. If you just simply take out your cell phone right now in this environmentally friendly, paperless fashion, you can endorse right now. If you type the word endorse, plus your name and your email address, to 313131, that's 313131, you can endorse the Justify Rates ballot measure and help us carry the day with the voters of California. Now, for those of you without a cell phone, you can reach in your convention bag and pull out this yellow piece of paper and sign up to endorse our effort, and I'll be collecting them throughout the convention. Track me down. Give us the paper. We've also got volunteers out in the audience as well. Again, text the word endorse plus your name, 313131, and help us stop these excessive rate hikes. Now, Democrats, are you going to help me in turning back these excessive health insurance rate hikes? Yes. Are you going to join me in passing the ballot measure to finally give us the control over these excessive health insurance rate hikes? Yes. Thank you, Democrats.